Hello yeah. friends. During this session, we will learn how to fetch data from database in to ASP.NET drop-down list. In this session, first we will create a drop-down list. For that, we will just add a drop-down control from the toolbox. Then we will see an output like this. Here is a drop-down. Nothing is filled in this drop-down. Now what will I do? What first I will create a database. How to create a database in a Visual Studio, which I already mentioned in another video. So I have already created a database. In database, I have created a table named city. In city, there are two columns. The first one is ID and another one is city name. And in city, I have filled 10 entries like ID and city name. Now what, what, what thing I need to do in this website? I need all the city names from here, from, means from database to my drop down list. For that, what I have to do? First of all, open default.aspx.cs page. Now, on page load event, create a method named fill drop down. Now, you can see a red line below fill drop down. So, what you will do? You will create its method. Click here, generate a method for fill drop down. Now, a method is already created. Now, I just have to code for it like drop down list one dot data source. Now in data source, what I have to do? I just have to do uh, a method which will uh, return the city name from the table city. For that, I need a database connectivity concept and for that I have to create one method so that I will create one method named get user data. I have created this method. This will again show a red line. So I will generate a method for it. I will generate a method. Now I will change its access modifier. I will change it as public data table because I will write a query over here. So I will write public data table. Now what will I do? First, I will write a SQL command. For that, what you have to do, you have to add first these two namespace using system.data and using system.data.sql client. Then you need to write this four line of code that is the SQL connection con is equal to SQL command, SQL data adapter and data table. These all the things I have already discussed in the database connectivity video. Clear? Now in this method I will write the code. I am not writing just now. I will just copy and paste. CMD is equal to new SQL command. Now this is a stored procedure which I have created in my database. Get city is a stored procedure. To create a stored procedure just click here and add new stored procedure. Then you will see like that create procedure. Then your procedure name that is get city. For which type of query I need to write here? Select star from city which will return me all the data from the table city. Now I will use the same thing same stored procedure name here get city then this line of code which is common in all the methods clear now come back to the field drop down then i need drop down list one dot data text field data text field is used for in drop down which column of the table you want to show I want to show a column named city name. 
in drop down so i am writing here city name the table name is city and its column name is city name so i will write here city name then drop down list one dot data value field this is this one is used when you want to access something from your id then you will you can use it then drop down list one dot data bind clear okay this is okay now we will just execute a code you can see here a drop down list is filled here thanks for watching my video